Hi there, I'm Ahmed Mohsin and I teach the Edexcel ICT curriculum, O-level curriculum here at Platinum. Uh, I have been teaching this uh, curriculum since 2015 and uh, have been teaching it at Platinum since 2018. Okay. Uh, as you do know, the Edexcel ICT uh, O-level curriculum has two parts, uh, the theory paper and the practical paper. Okay. Now, after this introduction, you will be seeing a very short uh, video or rather very short glimpse of me teaching a practical lesson in ICT, which is from the uh, spreadsheet, spreadsheets chapter. And uh, in, the, in the video, you will be seeing me teaching uh, a function in spreadsheets known as VLOOKUP. Okay. Hi there, in this video, in this short video, we are going to be learning how to use the VLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel. Okay. Now, the first thing that we need to know is where do we use VLOOKUP? Okay. So we, we, we use VLOOKUP, then we have to take values from a different worksheet. So in this Excel sheet, you can see I have two worksheets. I have one worksheet over here and I have a second worksheet over here. So I'm supposed to take values from this second worksheet and place them over here in this column. So when you are supposed to take values from another worksheet or from another source, then we use something called the VLOOKUP function. Okay. Over here, there are a couple of job, job titles that have been given. Okay. And for each top job title, a pay grade has been assigned. According to the pay grade and hourly rate amount has to be put. These hourly rate values are in my second worksheet. Okay. Let me go over to my second worksheet. Right now, I'm in my second worksheet. So in my second worksheet, you can see for pay grade 1, the hourly pay is 20 pounds. For pay grade 2, the hourly rate is 20 pounds. Okay. So what happens over here is based on the pay grade, automatically the hourly rate should appear over here. Okay. So based on the pay grade that is over here, hourly rate should automatically open, uh, appear over here. I hope you are with me. Okay. So we use something called the VLOOKUP function. Okay. Let me show you how it works. So I come to this cell over here because I want the formula to be in this particular cell. I want the answer to be over here. So I have to insert the formula over here. Okay. And I come over here, I have something called my function button. When I click on this, I get all the functions that Excel offers. Okay. So let me come and click over here. Once I click over here, I get a list of functions. I hope you can see it. It might not be too clear in this video, but over here, all the functions are available. Okay. So from here, I'm going to select something called VLOOKUP. Okay. And I say, okay, I open it up. Now over here, it asks me, what is my lookup value? What am I checking? Okay. So right now I'm checking the pay grade because based on the pay grade, the hourly rate appears, isn't it? If the pay grade is one, a certain hourly rate should appear. If the pay grade is four, a certain hourly rate should appear. So it's asking me what is the value I'm checking. So I tell the computer the value that I'm checking is this particular value. So I just come and click on that value. Okay. And this value's address is B2. Can you see column B, row number two. So B2 appears over here. When it asks table array, table array basically means where are all your answers kept? These hourly rate values, where are they kept? Okay. So I come and click over here. I come and click over here. And then I come into my second worksheet. Okay. I come into my second worksheet and I tell the computer my answers are inside this range. Okay. I just selected the entire range because table array means where are your answers kept? So you can select the entire range, not a problem. So I select the entire range and said it's inside here. Okay, then the next question says column index number. Okay, column index number means now you have selected some columns, right? If you look very carefully, I have selected three columns from A1 all the way to C5, I have selected which is three columns A, B, C. So, column index number means which column has the answers. Okay, right now I am looking for the hourly rate of hourly pay, right? The rate of hourly pay is in the second column. So in column index number, I put number two, I put two. Okay. So I just come and click on column index number and I say, I'm looking for the answers are in the second column. Is it clear? Then the last question is range lookup. This is a bit confusing, but if you look very carefully, these are all in bold. This is bold. This is bold. This is bold. However, this is not bold. The reason this is not bold is because it's not compulsory for you to fill it. If you want to fill it, you can fill it. If you want, you can keep it blank. But let me tell you what is the purpose of this range lookup. Range lookup basically means if you want exactly matching values, if you want exactly matching values, you will be putting false over here. If you want not exactly matching values, 
you will put true over here okay that same explanation has been given over here also so if you ever get confused about what this range lookup is just read the description over here it says if you are looking for exact matches you put false over here if you are looking for not exact matches you simply put true over here okay i am looking for exact matches okay exactly matching this i want the correspond uh, corresponding value so i'm going to put false over here okay i'm going to come and type false over here and i'm going to say okay so now you can see pay grade is one automatically 20 has appeared over here let's come over here and see if it's correct or wrong so when we come to the details worksheet you can see yes when the pay grade is one it should automatically appear 20 here okay let's replicate this formula okay this particular formula i'm going to replicate it for the other cell so automatically for four the hourly rate will come automatically for three the hourly rate will come automatically for two hourly rate will come now before i replicate the formula replicate means applying the formula for the other cells before i replicate it there is a small change i have to make okay let me come and click on the formula and let me click on this can you see over here i have the formula i'll just click on this function box because i have to make a small change to my formula okay you see this formula over here this is my table array isn't it guys this is my table array now when i replicate the formula what happens the addresses change right isn't it let me quickly show you over here i have selected b2 right now my lookup value is b2 now when i pull down this it has to become b3 when i pull it down it has to become b4 when i pull it down this has to become b5 isn't it so when i replicate address will automatically change however the table array this table array space that value should not change okay that will always remain the same isn't it let me click over here and show you this table array let me click over here okay this particular table array which is from a1 to c5 no matter how much i replicate it it will always be from here to here you got it so what we do is we are supposed to lock this array is it clear this array is supposed to be locked which we call absolute cell referencing is it clear in order to do absolute cell referencing which is basically locking the cell so that this address does not change when you replicate the cells in order to absolute cell referencing what we do is you simply select this and you press the f4 key you have the function 4 key on your keyboard right you just press f4 so when you press f4 automatically a dollar appears before the column number and a dollar appears before the row number okay if you look very carefully okay before the column number a dollar appears before the row number a column appears then for the other one before the column a, row, a dollar appears before the row number a dollar appears that means this is locked okay now i say okay okay now let me start replicating this okay i'm pulling it down and replicating the formula okay now shall we see is it working so pay grade is 4 this is is it is it supposed to be 10 let's go and check it yes when it is 4 it is supposed to be 10 let's come over here and check for 2 when it is 2 is it supposed to be 15 yes it is supposed to be 15 can you see over here so it has worked out quite successfully okay it has worked quite there is one more thing that needs to be done you can see this is actually a currency value okay it is supposed to be in pound form isn't it so all we got to do is select this column select these values you can come over here can you see over here you can make it a currency so you click over here and you say you want it to be in pound form okay english united kingdom okay and you can say okay so right now it appears in currency form okay i hope uh, this made sense to you i hope it was clear enough for you okay thank you very much